Hello, welcome to the Cali River Winery Expeditions. When you board one of our rafts, you can look forward to an exquisite selection of wines paired with a safe, relaxing trip down our beautiful river. My vintners and I believe our expeditions are the most romantic way to see nature's beauty while unwinding with an amazing glass of wine. It's like my grandmother used to say when she started this company, the wine can get you drunk, the river will make you wet, spend some time with me and I'll get you both. Wait, what the fuck grandma? Sorted, but you'll be rewarded when at last I am given my dues. And injustice deliciously squared. Be free, free. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode. I don't even know what the fuck episode number it is anymore. Of Three Sheets for the Mouse. We're the podcast that likes to focus on the adult side of Disney, from the park to movies to dining. We'll cover everything Disney has to offer, or whatever the hell they have left at this point, including their drinks. (laughs) My name is Mikey, and tonight I am joined by the understudies for Beauty and the Beast on Broadway, LeFou. That's Maria. I was just going to say that better not fucking be me, because I would be, hello... I would be Mrs. Potts. And Lumiere. No, I'd be Cogs- more like Cogsworth than Lumiere. Yeah. Oh, yes. Definitely that's, Cogsworth. That's, that, I, that's, why, that's why no one asked me to cast uh, <laughs> films and, and musicals <laughs> and uh, things things of that nature. Well, hey, it is now, it, it is cold and rainy and fall is here, so get yourself a warm dick insider and let's talk about Disney together. I'm sorry, what? Hmm? A, a Dickens cider? Yes. From the, from the Dickens dick. Orchard. Ah. It's Amish. You wouldn't understand. What, what? Are you kidding? I'm surrounded by Amish up here. And Mennonites. And they make fantastic whooping pies. Oh. What's a... Just never so mind. You know. I didn't want to know what a whooping pie is. It's a gob. Well, you only got to get a whoopie pie from Maine. That's all you got to know. Get a whoopie pie from Maine. No. Yeah. Get yeah. better from no, Maine. Get a whoopie pie from the Amish. Pretty it's sure the, it's, it's it's the two cakes and the icing in the middle. It's like a it's, it's like a like a marcon like a, macaron sure. macaroon. Like a, no, Morocco. it's not a macaron. What? No. It's cake with <sighs> icing a moon in the middle. Pie. It's a moon pie. Oh, why don't you say moon no, pie? No, moon pies are graham crackers. No, they're not. Moon pies are the soft is this, brown is, this cookie. Is, this is basically the devil's food cake thing that Little Debbie sells. Yes. Yes. Okay. Correct. Well, why don't you just say Little Debbie? Because a real one is, is a lot better than the Little Debbie one. All I know is I quit watching The View when they put her on there, so. So you lasted longer than I did then. Eh, you know, she used to be funny. I don't think I've ever watched an episode. You're not missing anything. So we've heard. <laughs> but we nope. won't get into that. Nope. We're not getting into that. You know what we're getting into? We're getting into some drinks tonight. And I'll even go first. Let me make one. Tim, go ahead. <laughs> I just have some Russell tenure. Is that, would that be the reserve? I think so. Yeah. Red label. I don't the bottle yeah. outside. I overdid it on some Mad Elf over the weekend. So no. I'm not touching that beer for a while. How many did you have? I don't know, but there's only three left in the fridge. And you guys stopped drinking them. I only had yeah, one. Yeah, I think Todd only had one. Yeah. So he had, I think Todd had two. Uh you might be right. You might have had And then I think maybe Adam had well, Adam so, had but we beer. brought a six pack, and, had, and you had, had a six pack. Four pack. In the fridge. Oh, that's and 18. there's only three yeah. left. That means fifteen oh, are gone. Jesus Christ, Tim! Yeah. Holy fuck! That's probably why I was nauseous on Sunday. <laughs> uh, you think? <laughs> that's a mad oh my elf. God. Yeah, eleven percent each one. That yeah. Holy shit! That's like that's like a hundred and ten percent. If you drink a lot of them, like 10. I'm not sure that's how that works. 
I'm, that's totally how that works. She's not because wrong. Because math. You got extra <laughs> credits. You can that's what that is. Oh. <laughs> well, I, you know, that that's great. Uh, and enjoy your, your, your whiskey there. I got some scotch because I like the taste of, uh, what is it again? Satan's asshole, Maria? Monkey's butt. Monkey's butt. Um, I got the... You're drinking monkey shoulder? Nope, I got Port Charlotte tenure. Oh. Ooh, oh. Nice. Single malt island. Are you saying tenure or ten year? Ten year. Ten year. Yeah, okay. well, I mean, it has tenure on the shelf. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I would... Because it's... Factual. It's a, it's, it's, it's a decade old. It's, it, well... The oldest possibly in the blend is a decade. <laughs> I guess that's what that really means. <laughs> no, it's a single malt, so it should be all of them. I don't know. It tastes fantastic. This was uh, shipped to me by Brian, the urinal cake Adams Jr. <laughs> God love him. Caribbean blue sky, blue, what, what? Clear CBR blue skies. skies. That's Clear right. Skies. CBR. Clear blue sky resort. Thank you, Brian. Yep. It tastes fantastic. Maria, what are you sipping on? What kind of LaCroix um, shit have you got tonight? I, well, you're not far off because that is basically all I drink right now. Um, so tonight I have my um, water bottle full of ice and some Misty Creek Traminette and a um, Bon Vive alcoholic seltzer. So I have a Traminette and Black Cherry Bon Vive. And it's actually very, very good. I really like it. I needed something kind of like uh, refreshing. It's been it's been quite a fucking week. It has. So it's, I needed this, I needed this month something has been quite like, a month just Tuesday. Like what the fuck? I turned around and like all of a sudden it's the end of October. Mm -hmm. Like what happened? I don't even I know. And it used to be August. I, seriously. I I just, I don't even know. So school has been very stressful. And some stuff at home with uh, the kids have been very stressful. So I just needed something to like kind of relax tonight. So I mix, mixed up some uh, Misty Creek. We had lunch with the Millers uh, over the weekend. They came over and... The day before, we went to the liquor store to get some stuff, and they had a whole end cap all full of that Bon Vive stuff. And I was like, and I was like, I should get them all these, Murray, all these things to try them <laughs> tomorrow. I actually really like, I, I really like the flavors that I have out of this one. Um, the ciders, the light ciders that I bought a couple weeks ago, there are some on there that, oh, no. So... They might understand you once again got a variety pack. I did. But she likes them all this time. <laughs> I do. I like all of the ones that I bought of the Bon Vive. The the um the light cider. Fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck it. It's terrible. I love how when she goes to get liquor, my, she goes yeah, and I gets should, a flight in a box. I mm -hmm. should I should learn my lesson and not get variety packs. Well, you know they have but, black box whiskey now. Like black box wine? What? Yeah, they have black yep. box whiskey. I was tempted to try Shut it, but up. I'm scared. How that can't, can't be, good. be good. No. It's in plastic. Mm -hmm. It's a plastic bladder. Yeah. That it's gonna take on that I flavor that Yeah. Profile of the plastic. Somebody try it and then report back to Tim and tell him how horrible yes. it is. And then that way you don't have to buy any Tim. Somebody else can be your victim. I mean, volunteer. Man, I swear I thought she was going to say bitch. Somebody else can be your bitch. No, that's Adam. <laughs> what what Tim needs is the box, bitch. Okay. You need a box, bitch, Tim. Yes. So if anybody wants to be my box, bitch, go. just <laughs> let me know. Appli applications will be accepted. Yep, just uh, send a message to the hotline. 407-906-4698. Uh, if you Have we get the anything chance, lately? No. No, I'll take it no. back. Someone oh sent God. me, as they typically do, a picture of some noodles. Uh, and they think they're creative like it's the first time someone has sent me N-O-O-D-S. 
Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, that person is probably at home like, I didn't get a response or anything. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's because I received like four of them from Shan. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course you did. And this one just said, per your request. I'm thinking, who uses per in a text message? No, you're not sending an email to your boss. Right? No, it's just about TPS reports. <laughs> Uh, no, per your request is a is a sarcastic, yeah, it's like passive aggressive yeah. thing to say. I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, why am I not surprised? Because <laughs> you're being a belligerent, pompous asshat. Per your request, <laughs> here's what you uh, what you needed that you had access to get yourself. Or, or even better yet, as stated in my email below. <laughs> That's even better. As per our earlier conversation. Yes. As per our earlier conversation. <laughs> that's that's basically. Yeah, I that's, that's the best way. That. Listen this time. Just just <laughs> preface it in uh, in the subject. Just give it a capital. I C Y M. I C U P. I C Y M I. In case you, <laughs> you missed, missed it. it. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I'm not hip. I don't know these the LDR. anagrams. What didn't either. that have Carson Daly on it? No, <laughs> it was just TLR. TRL. TRL. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, speaking of taking requests, um, tonight Maria uh, is is kind of revisiting one of her earlier um, topics when she was just a baby host here. And that's just because that's kind of what we do. If we do something and it works, then we always go back and do it again really quick because we're unimaginative assholes. Well, then we do it to death. <laughs> or yes. We hate it. And last time we didn't have Tim to participate. So this time uh, we do. And Maria, what what are we playing tonight? Is this a game? Are there winners? Are there losers? How many points do I have? Vote for me. There are always winners if you agree with me. And you are definitely a loser if you don't agree with me. But you're not going to find out until after you give your answers. So um, we're going to do a second round of this or that. Last time we did um, the new things that are scheduled to come to Walt Disney World. And you had to pick one. And the other one completely went away. You could not say, well, this time I want this one, but next time I might, might want the other one. No, you had to. You get to pick one. And if you don't pick the other option, the other option completely gets taken out. So let me like, get... Gone from Disney World, never to return again. So which one of us said um, Festival of Lion King oh, last time? Because too apparently they listen. Oh. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. Oh, man. That wound is still raw. <laughs> the circle Thankfully, life, that's not on my list. Thank uh, God that's not on my list. Oh, my God. I did, though, because it, it probably has a lot to do with the actors' union, and they can't keep them um, laid off without them being able to get yeah. other acting jobs. So, And they can't bring them back to work yet. So, I get it. I hate it, it gives, but I get it. It, does, it gives them more options. Yeah. In the, right. The, it gives them... Tr- yeah. Truly, it, does, it, it, free, it gives them it more options. It frees them up to then. get other... Gigs, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Hickey birds Accurate. haven't been laid off yet. Mm, I feel like they're probably not going anywhere. Um, so because we are kind of into holiday season now, um, all of our this or that options for tonight are holiday based. So these are things that are only at Disney World or Disneyland for a limited time. And remember, if you pick one, the other one permanently goes away. Okay? So we're not just picking what you think you would like the best. It's what could you not do without. Kind of kind of like that. You don't tell me what I how I play the game. I'm t- <laughs> Well, we know that we make up our own rules as we go anyway, so it doesn't that's the best part of this game. How does, what, is, what does Drew Carey on who, say on Whose Line Is It Anyway? He does it. The... He hosts a different show now. Well, what is... Oh, so who is it? It now, was, it was, it, it was Taylor, the guy named Clive, it? I believe, that hosted Whose oh. Line Is It Anyway. 
or something. The points don't matter. The rules I don't are made know. up and the anyway, points don't matter. The rules are made up and the points don't matter. That's pretty much how we play any game on this show. Okay, so we're going to go in order of holidays. So we're going to start with Halloween and we're going to end with New Year's. Okay, so we're kind of going to go That's in order. That's a short calendar. Well, it is. But we're focusing on the holiday season that we're in right now. And and plus, Disney doesn't really do anything for, like, Valentine's Day or Easter. Or well, like... No, they do Easter. Well. They do all the Easter eggs. They do stuff. more over in the Japanese part. Like, they do more at Disneyland Tokyo for Easter. Yeah, which is weird. I feel. that I don't know. It's, like, such a big time. It's I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, I'm sure there's some. Obviously, there's a reason for it. So here are your options for battle number one. You can either pick Mickey's Not So Scary or Disney California Adventures Oogie Boogie Bash. So let's talk about both of these options because I have never been to either. I've never been to Not So Scary and I haven't been to Disneyland since I was a child. So it's been a long, long, long time. It's, it's been almost 30 years since I've been to Disneyland. That's definitely on the list of things to get back to in the next five years. So I'll talk a little bit about Oogie Boogie Bash because none of us have been there. Um, and I know that you guys have both been to Not So Scary, and I haven't. So you guys can talk about Not So Scary here in a second. Um, so Oogie Boogie Bash is at Disney California Adventure. It tickets are like between a hundred to one forty five ish, depending on what time of the season you go in. Um, it's the same as Mickey's Not So Scary that you can get in early with your ticket, like three hours early, and the party starts at six. It's from six to eleven, um, and they have a couple of other than like the trick or treat trails and all that. There is a World of Color show that is special for that party called Villainous. There is a Frightfully Fun Parade. That's the name of it. um, Which is shorter than Boo to You. But from everything that I watched, I watched a couple of videos today. Like, it's a pretty awesome parade. Like, they use their floats really well and their character interaction really well. Um, And then their main stage show from what I could find, is called Mickey's Trick or Treat Show. So there's, like, dance parties and stuff like that. There's a walkthrough trail as well um, with, like, lights and stuff that is supposed to be, like, this spooky, creepy vibe. Um, so that's that's what I found out just with a quick search of Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, so, Mikey, you were there with the... You were at Not So Scary with the kids a couple years ago correct yep yep done it twice so t- oh you've done it twice okay so tell tell us a little bit about what mickey's not so scary entails uh well it took us a whole damn night to figure out you could get candy <laughs> um they <laughs> hand you a trigger treat back when you walk into the park look who you're talking to Tim. <laughs> um yeah, no, I, it, it, we, we couldn't. We were busy riding the rides and not really paying attention to the candy until the end of it. We're like, oh, shit, we'll get candy. And then it was just like gobs and gobs and gobs of candy. Then again, my uh, my opinion is a bit skewed because this would have been like 2014 when it was dead for this event. And it was just an amazing experience. Um, that said, uh, I, I really think it... it, it to me, that was like my best experience at Disney in Magic Kingdom was during Not So Scary. I don't know what it is about the transitional holidays or whatever. And just I, I think it's the the colors that they get to use uh, uh, is a lot of fun. I, I love the parade. I love the music, although that's changed. Uh, the stage show has changed um, since I was there. Oh, was it still the... The, it wasn't the hocus no, pocus it was one. The, it was the the villains party kind of thing okay. where they all come out and do their 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 dance and stuff like that. Yeah, it was just it was just kind of really weird because you had this mashup of face characters and head characters on the stage at the same time, which is weird. 
Yeah. That's what, when we went to Villains Night, uh, not, not this, obviously not this summer, but last summer in 2019, they had the Villains Spectacular, I don't even know what the fuck it was called, but it was the same thing. It was, it was face characters, like Hades was a head character, Jafar is a head character, like a costumed character, but then you have like Megara, who is a face character. The evil queen, who is a face character, Kuala Deville is a face character. Like it's just, it was just kind of strange to see them intermingle. But then they also do have Hades as a face character sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And same thing. Oh, I think I think that maybe I've even seen a Captain Hook as a face character before for certain events. I think I've never seen Captain Hook as a face character. Okay. Only as a, sure. that's weird. Mask. But I have seen Hades with the prosthetics and stuff like yeah. that. I wonder how they make that decision. Like, how do they decide if it's going to be costumed or face? I wonder. It depends on what Steve Buscemi's doing that week. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> He looks so like Tim, you went, to, you went to not so scary as you've been at least once, right? Several, several many times. Okay, that, I wasn't quite sure. So yeah, no, we went several many times. What? It, so what do you like about it? Well, the first time we went, we knew nothing about it. I mean, we knew we can get candy. We knew they had the parade and the fireworks and the shows, and but we didn't know that you could dress up. We oh. didn't know you could wear costumes, so we went in just regular park clothes. Yeah. And I think that was, that might have been 2012, I think, maybe was the first time. So after that, we were like, nope, next time we're doing this, we're dressing up. So we, I think we went back in 2014 and we dressed up. And then I get in 16, and I think the last time, well, the last time we went was last year. But I think we went... 12, 14, 6, 17, and then last year. And you guys were monorails last, last year, Last right? year we were all monorails, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was so great. We won a bunch of sheeters and we were all monorails. Nice. Okay, so, gentlemen, you can only pick one and the other one um, ceases to exist. This, this isn't even Which fair. Which one are you going with? Because Why? we don't no we don't have a frame of reference for the oogie boogie bash well i don't have a frame so, of well, reference for either yeah which means we can't get it wrong sure you can well here's the deal we also <laughs> did disneyland's halloween party but right before it went to oogie boogie bash oh when it was over in, in, in disneyland in magical kingdom not in not in, yeah yeah and the way they did there was mickey's halloween party mm-hmm. in magic kingdom and with the way they did it in Disneyland, if they did it anything like that in DCA, I may have to go with Oogie Boogie Bash. Because in Disneyland, you can they, they have the free roaming villains. They walk around the park with one handler, and you can talk to them and take photos. Unlike Disney World, you got to either go to a, right. a special villains event or what have you to try to get to them. But Right. Even like, even like when they did um, Hollow Wishes, Disneyland was so much better. It was hosted by Jack Skellington and not Ghost Host. From what I understand, from what I was reading today, they are still free roaming. And we'd have to ask some of our um, California shooters, shooters who have been to this. Um, I'm I'm sure that some of them have, have done this already. But I'm fairly certain that this this special event is just like any other day where the characters are free roaming. So, I I would assume that that's how it is. Given that Not So Scary is a little long in the tooth, and nothing has really changed that much. The whole stage show? And I think they've redone well, the fireworks. I don't think it's the Hallow Wishes anymore yeah. either. Well, yeah, they actually, they didn't even get to do the fireworks this year, did they? No. Did, no. It, last year, it was the same thing. It was Hollow Wishes still. Yeah, last it? year was Hollow Wishes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so they haven't even gotten to show their new fireworks show. And they've changed up the floats in the parade. You don't have Goofy on his mm-hmm. bubblegum thing oh, anymore. That, yeah, I know. And that, that sucked because I wanted Goofy on his candy machine and not... Penelope. Penelope. 
And, but I'm just saying, it has and, seen and that changes. Bloke used to be last because he would clean up the mess from the right Now it's not last. The villains vote it last. So what do you think? I'm gonna have to give it to Disneyland. You're going with Oogie Boogie. I'm going Oogie Boogie. Okay, Mikey, what do you think? I'm going with who do you? Well, because one of you is wrong. Because Hocus Pocus <laughs> and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas is overrated. Ooh, it's a good thing Adam didn't record tonight. <laughs> Just saying. Um. So, I. Um, I'm sorry, Mikey. You you lose you lose this one. I'm a, I'm I'm with Tim on this. I I Mickey's not so scary. Needs to go away. They need something else. I'm going with Oogie Boogie Bash. But what um, what, because, what do you get if you get rid of that? Um, I don't know, and that's not my problem. Well, listen, <laughs> at, the, at Walt Disney World's track record, you get rid of something, nothing replaces it. Yeah, yep. yeah, right. We have no <laughs> nighttime parade. Especially right now. I mean. You get rid of it, or you're going to get some flat screens hanging up uh, on the yep. <laughs> up and down Main Street. <laughs> this is what we used to do. Mm -hmm. Please enjoy. It's, it's a, it's a freaking PowerPoint slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> With shitty transitions. And elevator music. Yeah. Where it zooms out and zooms yep, in, yep. or like it just ro it rotates 180 degrees, and as it spins oh around, the God. new images on the backside of it. So yeah, terrible. And, and you know what, though, Tim, you say that I would actually kill for soundtracks to all these events done in the style of like lounge elevator, oh, we peachy about supermarket music. You know, just. I, I would love that. And it's so hard to find any Disney covers that are done, you know, like that. Literally, unless you're walking around like a Target or a Kmart or something that happens to come on. And you're like, oh, God, that's a whole new world. But kind of. Yeah. It's well, like <laughs> really bad karaoke. PMJ has done some. Well, you like, yeah, that that's actual like jazz. I'm talking like well, is it elevator most, style music. It was elevator music is kind of like. Jazzy, isn't it? No, I'm th mm. I mean, where it, it is, it it's definitely sounds like it's well, like, all done, done on like a Casio keyboard. Yeah, like a, yeah. it's yeah. just a MIDI file is all it yeah. is. Okay, you know, it has that that tinny, that tinny yeah. sound. Yeah, like like you're in an abandoned uh, Toys like, R Us. Like the lap dance is always better when the strippers cry, like that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. That, that's called the cool. bossa nova button <laughs> on your keyboard <laughs> your you got for keyboard. Christmas. You Casio push that, and, and, and you're like, I'm a freaking maestro here as I try to play along with it. <laughs> and you're just with doing your, like... With your pre-recorded drum beats. Oh, I remember when Casio came out with the... It, it could record your voice, and then you can oh. play it in different keys. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a nightmare. What, what, what? Mm -hmm. All you're doing was just saying, like, curse words. Yeah. You're making it repeat it. Yeah. Like yeah. fucking Teddy Ruxpin. You can say fucking eight different octaves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the score is Tim one, Mikey zero. Double Jeffrey. On to question. Well, but also remember that this is how we started the last round of this. I disagreed with you the first time, and then the rest of the time I agreed with you on almost every single thing. Poor Adam. <clears throat> so, there was one time we that he and I agreed, which means yeah. you lose. Good no. day, sir. Uh, yeah, no. that's the way the rule Not, goes. No. No, no, no. Oh, we're making up the rules as we go along. That's how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> and the points don't matter. So, <laughs> All right. So we're going to stick with Halloween. And we're going to stick with Magic Kingdom for the second one. Um, so this time we have two holiday Halloween overlays. And again, if you pick one over the other, not just the overlay, but the ride goes away. Oh. Okay. So the options are... Space Mountain Holiday Overlay, which is just complete blackness. Okay, I was about to say, yeah, that's, that's the only one that's that... There, that's, and I think that they play, like, spooky Halloween-ish music in the background as well. Um, but there's no, like, there's no lights. None. It is complete blackness. 
or you get the Pirates of the Caribbean overlay, or Caribbean, however you say it, um, overlay with the live actors in the queue and on the ride. Tim, have you done both of these? Yes. Which makes this really tough. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I, I have not. I have not done the Space Mountain one because... Every time I go to, to Magic Kingdom, <laughs> every time I go to Magic Kingdom, the line is either fucking god awful long, or Space Mountain is broken down. I have not ridden Space Mountain since I was a senior in college, and that I'm doing the math. Hold on, that well, was by your math. That's like a thousand years ago. Thousand it <laughs> that actually. That was 2003. No, the beginning of 2004. Well, they've put new so, lights in it. Yeah, I, I'm sure they've done a shit ton to it. I haven't ridden yeah. it in like 15 some odd years. That's it's ridiculous. Like, how do I not That's every upsetting. single time I go, I say like the last time we were in Magic Kingdom, because we didn't go this past August. We went when we went in last September. We were in Magic Kingdom, and I said to Todd, we had the boys with us, and Abby. I said, I am writing Magic, I, I am writing Space Mountain. He's like, yeah, go, fine, go. Fucking down. It <laughs> was down all afternoon. I could not get on it. Time before that, I said the same thing. I'm getting on Space Mountain. Fucking 85-minute wait. Without a fast, I didn't have a fast pass for it. There were no fast passes available. Not getting in a line that's 85 fucking minutes long. I haven't ridden that goddamn thing in like 17 years. It's terrible. So how do you feel about that? Pissed, man. We, we have ridden it every trip at least twice without waiting. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, well, You're not to work the system, man. I've, I've gone on twice in a don't. row, man. Walked on twice. Yeah, I mean, us too. Oh, we, we, did it, we did it like three times last. Not so scary. All us monorails got on several times without having to wait. All us monorails. <laughs> And it was and the nobody broke down. <laughs> no, and it was the pitch black version, and uh, one of us monorails screamed. I'm not gonna tell you which one it was. Screamed like a little girl. Well, now, you, now you have to. Was it Wozni? No. <laughs> was it? Was it Adam? Mm-mm. <laughs> Damn it! Now I want to know. <clears throat> oh, it was Drossel. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Chris, really? There is your box, bitch, right there, Tim. Yeah, I was just going to say, he is a little bitch sometimes, so, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, he'll, he'll he buy that you. box wine if he can find it. Oh, yeah, he totally would. Or if he can't find it, I'll buy it and send it to him. Yeah, there you go. And you've done Pirates as well, Tim? Yes. With that Which Halloween overlay. Very, those those actors fun. are amazing. Yeah. We and, and we did it with the same crowd, all us monorails. We're... Mm -hmm. And they were amazingly interactive. The ones in the jail cell, the ones on top of the parapet. It, it was just a lot, whole lot of fun. Look at you with the 25 cent word. That's a um, that's a double jeopardy word. There you, go. you mean double scrabble? What double jeopardy? Double scrabble. Double word score. <laughs> double word score. Triple word score. Triple words. Seven letters. On a double letter. I don't know what that means because I lose it scrabble every single time I play it. Gotta be inventive. It's terrible. I well, yeah, I'm not. So, Mikey, we'll let you go first since you have not done either of these, and I, Tim has done both of them, and I've only done one of them. <laughs> so we run the gamut on this one. Well, I remember the ride is going to go away. The ride or the oh. overlay? The, you said ride oh. and overlay. So ride and overlay go ride away. And you don't overlay. pick one. Yeah, everything. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it easier. Okay. Um, yeah, my eyesight me, is very poor. Mm -hmm. So whether you turn the lights off in Space Mountain or you leave it the way it was, I still can't see shit. And I can see everything in Pirates. I have to go with Pirates. I would want to keep, keep Pirates and I'm okay with not, not doing the Space Mountains again just because... Uh, we haven't got a shitty uh, movie series about that yet. 
Maybe if oh, we get rid them, of it now, they won't, they won't make it. it no, if we get rid of it now, they won't make it. Oh, they're redoing oh, Haunted Mansion. I Ugh. I, that's a terrible idea. Mm-hmm. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. That's going to go right to Disney Plus, though. That's not going to be... Probably. Yeah. Well, there's rumors that a lot of movies, except for like ones that are going to be definite blockbusters, are just going to be straight to Disney+. Mm. Some with yeah. a fee, some without. Well, we had this conversation over the weekend. Yeah. So you're saying Space Mountain, Mikey? No, I'm saying keep Pirates of oh, the Caribbean. Pirates. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we Sorry. listening to a different conversation? <laughs> I think so. No wonder Kellen can't follow a conversation and repeat what he's been said. What's been said to him? His mother can't do it either. It's apple tree, you know. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, she teaches our youths. Yeah, uh, sometime I attempt. <laughs> well, because you threw the caveat in that the ride itself will have to go, I'm going to have to keep pirates and the pirates Halloween overlay. For two reasons. Oh. I mean, uh, Pirates is one of my favorite rides. And the interactions with the cast members, the live action cast members, along with the animatronics, they, they fit, they blend into the story really well. So uh, for me, that's a much better experience, even though Space Mountain Pitch Black is thrilling. I'm going to have to go with the Pirates. Okay. And we both disagree with Maria. Both picked... uh, interesting that you both picked but both picked the same thing. Um, I am also going to go with pirates. So we agree on this one. Ding, I, ding. I mean, I I so haven't the written. You, <laughs> All right, there, Jim J. <laughs> yeah, you both get a point. Look at you. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I haven't ridden Space Mountain in, like I said, in like seventeen years. So. Well, it hasn't changed. Like, I'm not going to miss years, it if really. it's gone. So, it, I mean, it's let's be honest with ourselves. Tomorrowland is outdated anyway. Yeah. And needs a whole shit ton of work. It needs this more than Tron. Just, it didn't yeah. even need Tron. You are not kidding. No, and I have a feeling once Tron gets completed and is open, the rest of Tomorrowland is going to look extremely more outdated than it already does. Absolutely. 100% agree with you. Yeah, but just I don't slap think, I on don't it, think good. that we are far off. Well, maybe we are now farther off than we would have been. But I don't think that we are too far from a Tomorrowland redo. It it, it would behoove them to they're, do something. They're going to have to because now they've got a bunch of empty theaters. And... <laughs> I going to say, <laughs> yes, yes, Tomorrowland is basically Epcot at this point. Yeah. yeah. You're not kidding. Or Hollywood Studios. Pick pick, well, pick one. A more outdated Epcot, if that is possible. <laughs> if that's possible. Well, that's because Epcot tore down their outdated building. So now it's... There's now basically an entire place. street in Tomorrowland corridor area that is just nothing. Yeah. The entrance, the entrance from the you, hub. Literally, yeah. Yeah, you've mm-hmm. got you've got uh, you know Stitch. lawnmowers, the ride, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger spin, and Space Mountain. Um, That's the Well, we, you get the people mover, and, and if you can find it, and you know, uh, water spots, the musical, or the carousel of progress. Go. Oh yeah, the. Ceiling tiles are very much stained in that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So number three, we're we are uh, progressing in our holidays. We're moving to Thanksgiving. So in years past, Walt Disney World has had several places that you could book for Thanksgiving dinner. This year. I don't know if anybody knows this, but it's a little different this year. Things have happened. I'm sure nobody is paying attention to the news, so you might not even know that stuff is different. So when I looked on the Walt Disney World website today, there were literally two places (laughs) that were um, advertising a Thanksgiving meal. And so that's where you have to choose from 
these two different restaurants. And again, if you don't choose one, it ceases to exist. So your options are you can either have a Thanksgiving meal at the Liberty Tree Tavern or the Thanksgiving platter at Whispering Canyon Cafe. Mm. Those are your options. So Liberty Tree is in Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom. Whispering I'm like, Canyon. I'm like, very good. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm explaining to those out. at home that are like, where's that at? <laughs> and Whispering Canyon is in the Wilderness Lodge. Um, I have only eaten at one of these. We've eat, I've eaten at both. I have always wanted to eat at Liberty Tree. How? But n- we never really get around to it. Like, we've never truly, like, we've never done it. Um, because, quite frankly, most of our time in Magic Kingdom, we're not sitting down for a meal. We kind of, like, grab and go. And Sleepy Hollow is our favorite, one of our favorite places to stop and eat. So, anytime we're in Magic Kingdom, we tend to end up there. Or, the, like, just one of the snack places, Casey's, to get corn dog nuggets or, mm. you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So... We're not, we're, we, I've never sat down for a meal at any sit down place in Magic Kingdom except for Be Our Guest for, which is still considered a quick service lunch. So, but obviously I've been to Whispering Canyon. So now you're saying they're both traditional Thanksgiving meals. Correct. And they are both family style as well. So you have the same type of meal presentation in each each spot. The only true difference is the location, obviously. And if you don't pick one, it's going away. I just feel like the menu would be a little different at Whispering Canyon. You just get more cornbread. Of, yeah, well, I mean, because of their their you know kitchen. Or whatever. I, I I just I feel like that would be more of a a better meal. Just just thinking about between you know in in a park or you know out of a park but it's still on property. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I could Liberty be wrong. Tree doesn't share a well. They mm, well they might share a kitchen with um, Crystal Palace. No. Uh-uh. No. Mm-mm. Is it too far away? Yeah. It's it's too far away on like the streets in in the middle. I see different. Oh, you're right. Oh my gosh. I see conflicting images, uh, you know, in a quick Google search on the Whispering Canyon Thanksgiving dinner. Um, Some show it as a a family style, um, really similar to what you would get at like the Garden Grill. And then some others show it as a single portion, you know. Interesting. The what I looked up today, and I I got it just I think right from uh, Walt Disney World's website, and I'm pretty sure it said platter style, like family style. Um, actually, I think the term it used was a bountiful platter of all the traditional trimmings. Okay. Well, I I don't know the one. I don't know. I, I, I'll tell you, my, my quick hot take on this, I'll go first, is um, I would, I, I would, ugh. So does the, the other one doesn't just lose Thanksgiving, the whole restaurant goes away. Correct. Oh, man. Well, you know, the one time I've tried to go, they were closed. So I'm going to go with, uh, I'll, I'll keep Whispering Canyon. <laughs> Uh, fun atmosphere. I love the building that it's in. The food's always been really good when I've, when I've gone. Uh, you know, cornbread's been bountiful. Well, that's because you people can pile it in front of you. <laughs> uh, but I, I've not ever been... Like I said, I, I've tried to go to Liberty Tree once and they were closed because it was late. Um, we had we it, Actually, it was during Not So Scary, actually. And uh, oh. I was like, oh, wait, this is a restaurant back here, guys. 
and they were they were shut down. So that was the night that I had to go to oh, pick those man. bills. Still a good option. Oh yeah, this is before they shut down the. Uh, um, oh, it was all the, you could eat walk. Right. Man. So all that's right. that. That's my answer. I don't need to phone a friend. So you're going with Whispering Canyon. I all am. Right. Tim, what do you think? This is a tough one because uh, anybody that knows me knows I do not like traditional Thanksgiving dinner. I don't do turkey. I don't do gravy. I don't do stuffing. With that said, the last time... That's because you eat like a five-year-old. I do, uh, yes. Unless you actually want to have it. <laughs> it's so weird. It's the weirdest thing yeah, I've I ever know. seen. Mar- <laughs> yeah, I know. If you've eaten with me enough times, you know that. I know. But... <laughs> it's so strange. The last time we were in disney world was in january and we had whispering canyon for a sheet up dinner and we also did liberty tree tavern as like a post-race lunch i think it was with the goodmans and the paganos i like the atmosphere of liberty tree it's very colonial america and to me that says more about thanksgiving than Whispering Canyon, so I think I'm going to have to go with Liberty Tree. Just for the theming that it would feel more like a Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Well, again, one of you is wrong. And this time it's Tim. You're wrong, Tim. I'm agreeing with Mikey. Um, We're going to keep Whispering Canyon. And we're going to get rid of Liberty Tree. And we're going to put it in um, a Muppet restaurant. Oh, yeah. Well, we already have one of those in Epcot. Kind of. Sort of. Not really. Huh? Regal Eagle. Oh, Regal Beagle. Oh, Regal Beagle. Maria Regal Beagle. <laughs> there you go. I want um, Sweetums to serve me my food. <laughs> there you go. I feel like Whispering Canyon would have more of an option if you don't like the traditional Thanksgiving because you could get one of their regular platters. So if you go with a group and you, you know, three of you want the traditional turkey and maybe three, two, two or three people want, I don't know, the barbecue platter or whatever they have, um, then you could get both and you would be able to satisfy everyone. Liberty Tree is a little different. So if you don't get the platter, then you order a la carte. And I feel like mm, maybe that that almost kind of takes away from the holiday vibe. I don't know. I always feel like holidays is like an endless, like if it's truly a holiday meal, it is an endless buffet of whatever the fuck you want to stuff your gullet with. And I, I just feel like Whispering Canyon would do a, a, not a better job. It would justify the holiday a little bit more. It would, it would play to the holiday maybe a little bit more than Liberty Tree would. So I'm getting rid of Liberty Tree and I'm I'm keeping Whispering Canyon. So Mikey, Mikey, you're right. Thank you. Incidentally, you're I don't know when the last time we have had a traditional holiday meal anywhere. So it's never just turkey. I mean, there's, there's always some crazy shit thrown in there. Chicken casserole, uh, chili, barbecue. Oh, we go to so, the casino buffet for oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> well then but, you get whatever you want <laughs> yeah but I get it though because I like well Whispering Canyon Hills is a really special place for three sheets we've had three of our cheater dinners there and when you wake up in the morning at Wilderness Lodge or Copper Creek and you smell that smoker going at 8 o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. you know they're making some good shit I went. I went strictly for theming, and fortunately, Maria and that's, Mikey were both wrong. That's okay. You're allowed to be wrong. It's all right. <laughs> At least you were wrong by yourself. That's better than being wrong with someone else. This is true. That's accurate. That hasn't happened yet tonight. I'm sure it will, though. Okay, so we're sticking with uh, thanks. I almost said Halloween. Um, we're sticking with Thanksgiving for this next option. Um, so if you can't go to Whispering Canyon for your Thanksgiving meal. Um, Epcot, at the same time that Thanksgiving is happening, has their Festival of the Holidays going. And there are two, 
probably pretty good options for a Thanksgiving, I'm using air quotes, Thanksgiving meal. Um, you So here are your options. You can go to the American Holiday Table, which I believe is the one that's in the American Pavilion, like on the side of the American Pavilion. And you could get the traditional Thanksgiving meal, which is one of their options. <clears throat> or you could go to the refreshment port and you could get the holiday poutine, which let me pull up the description here real quick. It is a container <laughs> <laughs> of a sweet potato fries, turkey gravy, cranberry relish, and crispy onions. So no actual meat on this. Or and you sounds could go, like no well, actual poutine on there. Yeah, because poutine. there's no cheese. Yeah, right? Or you could go to the holiday table, which is the turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, green beans, cranberry sauce. Oh, God. I got to pick five, one. Five, five seventy-five. We have to pick. We have to pick either one. You have to pick either one. So let me. So so maybe to help you out, maybe I can tell you the menus of of the rest of the stuff that they have at these booths. Because remember, the booth itself is going away if you don't pick it. So, oh, but I know I know my the, answer to that one. At the American holiday table, in addition to the slow roasted turkey and stuffing and all of that, they have uh, hand carved smoked ham with green beans and sweet potato casserole. Oh yes, um, a chocolate pecan tart with whipped cream and whiskey caramel sauce, and then they also have a gingerbread cookie. Which fuck that noise. Um, It'll and give then you heartburn. For, Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Only if it's ginger beer. <laughs> um, and then for beverages, they have just regular hot chocolate. They have a cinnamon cranberry orange wheat ale. They have the shipyard eggnog white porter. They have a peppermint chocolate porter. And then they have a red and a white wine, which is not like no big deal. Um, and then they have hot chocolate with peppermint schnapps, or you can get the holiday beer flight okay so that's the that's the um holiday table and then if you go to refreshment port you have the turkey poutine which has no turkey and no poutine are you sure it has the, no turkey on it it's it says sweet potato fries with turkey gravy but no cheese poutine has cheese curds no cheese no cheese not a and no turkey not a poutine. <laughs> i don't know and then it has um, non-alcoholic eggnog, or you can mm. have eggnog with spiced rum. That's all that's at the refreshment wait. port? That's it. So wait, I have one question. Yes. We know what the refresh- refreshment port serves the, year, the rest of the year. Yes. Where, where you get this at the American Pavilion, what do they serve for the rest of the year? Well, it's the festival booths. So oh, it's... that makes it totally easy then. Yeah, it's so the festival booths, they, I mean, you know, it changes. So yeah. it just depends. So, Festival of the that Arts, makes it easier. it's one thing. Uh, Flower and Garden, there is another menu, all of that stuff. So, it, so, so you're either getting the American holiday table, Thanksgiving meal, or the refreshment port, the, the turkey poutine, which has no turkey and no poutine. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to sway you at all. <laughs> Well, I'll probably get this wrong <laughs> and yeah, at that note. You might. You might. You don't know how I'm trying to sway you. <laughs> All right, Tim, you go first. Well, not basing it on either of these options because, again, I didn't do Thanksgiving food, but I know what's available at both through the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. And because the refreshment port has my Dragonberry Refresher and the regular poutine for the rest of the year, I'm going with refreshment port. Okay. Okay, so my rebuttal. If you had to pick from the three items listed during Thanksgiving holiday, which one would you potentially consume from the refreshment port? Don't you love that eggnog white porter? Ugh. No? No. I don't have like, anything eggnog. Oh, I, thought that, I thought that it was you. Well, maybe it uh-uh. was Adam then. I don't know. I thought one of you really liked that eggnog white porter. It wasn't me. Okay. I'm wrong then. So there, there's literally nothing nope. there that you would you would consume. No. So I'm just going to buy whatever's going to stay for the rest of the year. <laughs> no. I'm not I'm not a so Thanksgiving person. I don't do Thanksgiving. 
Okay. Well, no, but I mean, did what was there an eggnog with rum? Didn't you say that? I hate eggnog. I can't stand that, eggnog. Well, yes, that's but that's at the refreshment port. Right, which is what he picked. So, that's why I was. Yes. But I can't stand okay. eggnog anyway. So. So, so you're going to keep it just so you Man. can't have it. <laughs> just, just so I can keep my dragon bar refresher in the regular yeah, so you can come back at a later date. date. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that even fair? Uh, well, she I mean, threw in the, she sure. threw in that stipulation that the, I did. It, I did. It goes away. Yep, it does. It goes away. Whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. What are you picking, Mikey? The refreshment port. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did all that fighting just to agree with me. I'm also not going to have a damn thing there. <laughs> Because I do not like sweet You're potatoes. You're keeping it because it has Tim's Dragonberry Refresher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm keeping it because it's it's he allegedly has closer to actual poutine. Oh yeah. Uh, but want? no, Who'd Tim want has regular I, poutine. Tim, I do. I just I don't and like sweet potatoes, Mikey. <gasps> and what during food and wine it has what Adam says is one of the best Bloody Marys on property. Don't like those either. So Neither why? But for those who love Bloody Marys. I, I don't, I don't, and my family knows I don't do sweet potatoes. I don't do yams. I don't do sweet potato casserole, the fries, oh, nothing. Man, so I just freaking good. I know. They're mm. just, I just, there's just something about them I don't like. They, it's like they want to be French fries and they're pretend to like, oh God, look, seasoned fries. Nope. So we go to, um, it's a, it's a brewery, but it's also Kind of a chain restaurant. I mean, it's there's multiple locations. Iron Hill. So we have Iron Hill, and they Iron Hill Brewery, and they have sweet potato fries, and then the dipping sauces that they give you. One is like a like a smoky, like a smoky. I don't want to say cayenne because it's not spicy. Like a smoky paprika dipping sauce, and then the other one is a vanilla cream. Oh my god. It is so, so I'm good. dating myself, but back in the '90s, they used to be Motown Cafe. Well, you should you should always love yourself first, Tim. So it's okay to date yourself. <laughs> that was funny. Come on, it was funny. Okay, Motown Cafe. <laughs> and they had the best sweet potato fries I've ever had. And they had oh, like God. your choice of dipping sauce. There was the vanilla cream, cinnamon butter, mm-hmm. and there was like a spicy ketchup. Oh, it's oh. so good. I would get like each one of those sauces and just rotate them out. It was the mm-hmm. best sweet potato fries I've ever had. They're so good. All right. So, um, yeah, you're both wrong on this. <laughs> we're, we're getting rid of refreshment port because no. And we're keeping the American holiday table, not necessarily because of this menu, but, um, because of everything else it has all year round. Oh, no. This, I- I've never this... had a good anything from that booth at either of the any of the festivals i i forget what exactly their beers were for food and wine um and they're basically we, just when, sam adams beers and n- no but they weren't there was something else and i can't remember exactly what it was i mean when we go in the next couple of weeks um i'll be able to look at it again um but we'll add it I to always... the show notes for you well, well, yes, thank you. When this episode much. drops, we'll already be back. Appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll be back. That's fine. We had a great time. Okay. <laughs> we did. And what did you have um, at the American booth? Um. <laughs> well, none of this because it's still going to be food and wine when we get down there for like another week. We're missing this by literally days. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Which kind of, well, I was looking at the rest of the menus and I was like, oh, I want that. Oh, man, I want that. Cheese fondue in a bread bowl? Yes, please. Um, that's not from the American We've had the burnt and brisket. Table. I've had the Wagyu oh, slider with the pimento cheese, and it was so all good. bad. It was all bad. No, the burnt and brisket, when we had it, was uh, amazing. I've had it, I've had it twice, so and both good. times it's been dry. Are you serious? Yeah, and chewy. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. No, ours was really good. Maybe it'll be different now that the Regal Beagle is open, and they actually have a real smoker. I would think that they... But they did have the real. They had the smokers right next to the booth. Too. Yeah, but they they were pumping them out too fast and letting them sit. You think it just wasn't done right? Yeah, I just don't think it was done right. Yeah. Well, sorry. Neither of you are getting a point, and I'm giving myself a point for that. So. 
Well, did we Tim decide has that two if, points. if both of us were wrong, you were wrong? Yeah, I'm pretty sure no, no, majority no. That's rules not, no, here. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, that's not how. No, that's not. Well, how that's how me and Mike are playing. Um. Well, you're wrong. It's okay. So Tim has two points. Mikey has two points. I have three points. So I'm in the lead. You don't get a point for every question. I think but it's I rigged. Do. I think it's rigged. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So... Can I bail my points in? <laughs> no. They are not worth anything. <laughs> Sorry. What about early pointing? Is no. That an option? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Absentee pointing. Adam Adams gets points too. I, yeah, Adam, Adam, yeah, Adam gets a point. <laughs> All right. So now we're moving from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Okay. And remember, the one you don't pick completely goes away. Okay. I feel like so, the way you're saying this, it's going to be painful. Yes. They've all been painful, really. Well, except for when you got to the yeah. Thanksgiving, because that was really. So this one, I think, is probably the most painful. At, at least it would be for me. I don't I mean, know. About I've never though, done Disney at Christmas, so yeah. I love it. So here's the choices. You are going to stay in one resort while it is decorated for Christmas. Mm. Is it going to be the Wilderness Lodge or the Grand Floridian? Oh, to see neither one of those would have been my first choice. Yeah. Thank really? God. Thank God we don't have to pick between these two. <laughs> really? What would have been your first choice? Contemporary. Yeah. Because they have really? the great big, uh, the great, 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 great big gingerbread house thing in there. I mean, yeah, like the, the, huge the whole one. gingerbread mural in the back of the Yeah. Back and they got all kinds of amazing Christmas sweets and treats and stuff from mm -hmm. See, and other I countries. Saw that, like and a I thought Epcot the Grand thing. Floridian gingerbread house that they erect in the lobby was like and their tree I thought was I thought was better. But that I mean, but that's just me. Um and and I picked the Wilderness Lodge just because that I feel like that resort is well, you went first, so now we can cheat and pick your. So, no, yep. no, no! It doesn't mean that I'm picking the Wilderness Lodge. I'm telling you why I chose oh, these two. Okay. The I feel the tree at Grand Floridian is probably one of the best, and I feel like Wilderness Lodge is just lends itself to that theming anyway, since it is the Northern Pacific. I feel like it's homey, it's warm, and I, you know, you have a giant fireplace. They do have a giant fireplace. On several floors, they have fireplaces. There's a fireplace, I believe, on the second floor as well that you can go sit in front of. I guess I'll go first again since Mikey's looking for another drink. Found it. Looking for an okay. opener. There you go. What are Out you of opening? the two choices presented to us, I will have to pick the Grand, oh. Grand Floridian. Yeah? Because I do love that giant gingerbread house, and it's an actual store. It is. You can buy gingerbread out of that gingerbread house. Mm hmm And their tree is... I've never seen the tree in Wilderness Lodge, but I've seen the tree in the Grand Floridian. It's a beautiful tree. I don't think the tree in the Wilderness Lodge is overly large. I would have to I would have to look up... Because I I have seen the tree, but it's not something I remember. So that's definitely a you know strike against it. Well, so then. you're going with Grand Floridian. Yeah. Okay. Then I, I, I'm going to hedge my bets on this one. <laughs> I'm going Wilderness Lodge, just because I feel like if I don't pick it, then my Thanksgiving dinner goes away. <laughs> oh, you're at, what, what? that is very true. So wait a minute. So does if we don't pick Wilderness Lodge, the whole resort goes away? The, everything goes away. So that means all points previous to this for Wilderness Lodge are null and void. Well, no, that's fine. I mean, we haven't. That's no, that's good. You're good with you're good with those points because you know. That's not how this works. That is how it works. It's <laughs> totally how well, it works. I, I'll, I'll do you one better, Kim. That also means that whatever DVC points you had at Wilderness Lodge are also <laughs> null and void. Well, and they don't go away. We don't. We don't own it. Ed. Okay. He owns Copper a Creek. poly, so he's good. Yeah. yeah we own a poly. Like we're getting rid of some fucking DVC resorts today. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yes, that's accurate. And probably accurate. doesn't really do anything for Christmas, so we're safe. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> um, well, especially this year, because they're shut down. <laughs> well, the DVC not side it. is still open. It's an aesthetics thing for me, really. I, I've never seen Christmas at either one of these places, but I have been to both of these resorts. And it, God dang it, the Grand Flow just feels stuffy. Oh, I used to think that too, but... I mean, I, I know, and I've been there, but it just... I love how open Wilderness Lodge is, and just the thought of having Christmas music echoing because it's just so big and empty and hollow, and uh, what? Damn, why? So here's the deal. You have been at Wilderness Lodge for Christmas. Yeah. When we did Wine and Dine, it was Christmas time, and that was our first... Oh, that's right. Because obviously, I did yeah. because I have seen the gingerbread house that's erected at the Contemporary. I digress. <laughs> but see, that's but I, case of point. Obviously, it's that's why I'm 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 rooted in. Well, no, obviously it was subliminally memorable because that's why I'm picking it. Okay. Tim. Um, I don't know how yeah. your mind works, but all right. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> it's a cat chasing a moth. He's remembering on memories. <laughs> no, I, okay. fireplace, fireplace. One of us is wrong. One of you is wrong. Which one is it? You are. You. One of you is very wrong. Um, Tim, you're wrong. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. No, I. I agree with Mikey. I think the grand flow is a little stuffy for my. But. I will say that <sighs> they, oh, so that means I'm getting rid of Victoria and Albert's too. Yeah. See, you're getting rid of everything. You're getting rid of I'm Victoria okay and Albert's. I'm okay with it, but I'm just the saying that. Best DVC you know. pool on property you're getting rid of? Eh. It is. The quiet pool at Grand Flow is the best pool on property. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That boardwalk pool is getting an upgrade. <laughs> We don't know what's going to... It could be the it know. clown. It could change the, the fucking ramen hair clown say, for an it clown. All I can say is that when we stayed there last September, Helen was obsessed with that fucking clown. I what don't it, know. What if it was bing bong? If they changed it to like I, a bing bong slide. Uh, would that be better be or creepy. worse? I feel That'd like that really would be okay. Creepy. You slide down his that, trunk with his great big eyes be... looking down at you. That, and I, his no, hat I can squirt water, okay. or his flower can squirt water. They have a Ooh, flower in his hat. Idea. Yeah, maybe I'm just getting older, but I used to think Grand Flow was stuffy. I don't think it's stuffy anymore. But maybe I'm getting stuffy. I don't know. <laughs> no. Refined is how we would describe you. No, I'm not refined. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not, no not, nor is he new. distinguished. No. I have the gray hair, but... No, I'm not distinguished. <laughs> bougie. <laughs> Maybe a little bougie. But a little boogie, I don't... but not bougie. Boogie. <laughs> yeah. Boogie. Boogie. <laughs> boogie, boogie. <laughs> mm -hmm. In fact. <laughs> boogie bougie. No, yeah. I I'm I'm <laughs> going I'm New going with the Wilderness shirt. Lodge. <laughs> Oogie bougie. Oogie bougie. <laughs> Oogie bougie. Oh, that's a great idea. You need to do that next, Mikey. <laughs> Please and thank you. All right. So, do we want to do two more or one more? We do two more. It's only 1030. We do two more. Two more? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, we're sticking with... Um, we're sticking with uh, Christmas. Also, I'm winning. You... Well, technically, I'm winning, but it's okay. Um, because you were both wrong at well, one point. Well, it's your point. game and so you cheat, so... I, I, Tim has... To, but between the two of you, yes, Mikey, you are winning. Well, to be fair, this is my first time playing. Accurate. Mikey had an advantage. He played before. Yes, so I, I know how to. I know how to read her because I understand women. <laughs> well, you are married to one. <laughs> and I am not. So <laughs> advantage. See? Accurate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they all think the same. <laughs> you don't. Know? I mean, it's the I'm same basis. Kidding. Yeah, no, I'm just it's, kidding. It's, it's yeah. Like, all hate mail to Maria. I'm just yeah, kidding. It's, 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 they have <laughs> no, a no, high no. mind. You know, like they all they all bleed the same. They all think the same. 
Oh, man. <laughs> Moving on. All right. So, again, we're going with uh, ride overlays for this one. Still Christmas. Two different parks. So, mm. you have the choice between, and again, if you don't pick the ride, the ride goes away. The Living with the Land holiday overlay. Or Jingle Cruise. Which is the Jungle Cruise. Oh, you made this one easier. Oh, did I? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, By the way, did. I don't know what my answer is for this one yet, so... <laughs> um, you've got to... Somebody's got to convince well, me. Well, let's, let's do a little, a little, a little backstory or a, right. a, on, on both of these. Right, Tim? Like what? Mm -hmm. What is Tim? What is what is in the uh, Jingle Cruise overlay? Oh, the Jingle Cruise overlay is, is amazing. They have presents floating in the water. They dress the gorillas up in Santa hats. It's just the cornucopia of Christmas stuff. And how about the overlay for Living with the Land? I'd be lying to you if I tell you I remember it. I remember. So, I've seen it, yeah. but I don't remember it. Go ahead, Mickey. It's, it tell is us. 350 lights. 350. I, I mean, I'm, I'm probably overselling it. But <laughs> you have so much opportunity on that attraction, all right? Oh, and you God. literally, you, you, you get what was in the clearance bin at Kmart at the end of season. I mean, Disney, you have the fucking Osborne spectacle of lights. And when it comes to decorating, living with the land, there, there. I mean, there's, it's so sparse. I mean, it's like someone just like they put forth the mint. It's like someone was like, okay, you know what? I know it's your last day, uh, because you quit. But we really need you to decorate this ride. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Look, they could have put glow cubes in, in the tilapia. They could have done uh, so <laughs> much because there's a lot of real estate. Okay, and maybe it's we don't want to step. Don't want to step on the sand and put like a fake tree up there on the sand or this and that or whatever. Well, you can't but, step on the sand because the bacteria on your foot gets in the sand. And there's kills just, plants. there was a lot more to offer. And the only places really there were lights was in, in, in like I, I, just a few spots. I, I want to say like where they have like the videos when you go around that turn and it's telling you about stuff. And the videos are completely out of sync and or do not mm -hmm. relate to the, uh, the, the script audio. I think there were a few lights there and maybe some light up Christmas presents. And it was, I was so excited to do this. And then when I did it, I got off of it and thought, what was, what, what was that? Overlay? More like no overlay. <laughs> so, and all the, all the Junker Skipper jokes are Christmas themed. Yeah, this this True. isn't even a competition. I mean, uh, I, and don't get me wrong. Living with the land is like my favorite ride in Epcot. But me too. but 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 Disney just doesn't care about it. Nope. It it, it looks good on it, it looks good updated. on paper. It makes them seem like they're doing some stuff. It's like you know, hey hey, here's the breakthroughs we're making where you can grow plants in the desert. It's like fucking cactuses do it on their own, bitch. <laughs> so I'm keeping the uh, the jungle jingle cruise. Also, Same. there is no live the land shirt. There's a jingle cruise shirt. So obviously that's the one you go with. Mm. That's accurate. Same. So, Maria, why are you wrong this time? No, I'm agreeing with the two of you. Okay. So can I, I tell you where you fucked up and where you could have made this even more difficult? Yeah, go ahead. Tell me. Jingle Cruise in Walt Disney World or the Small World Christmas Overlay in Disneyland. Oh, you know what? That and I didn't that even made think it about that. Almost impossible to choose. Well, for for Tim, I would have. Right. My, my answer would have been the same. Yeah, I don't know which one I would have picked. Yeah. Uh, um. The the thing that I don't like the and and living with the land is one of. One of my favorite rides. It's got my house. Hands down. Yeah. It does have your house. Squatter's you house. Spend, you would spend an evening in that house. I would too. 
I would. Yeah. I would. Oh, I did would you spend, both pick that? Listen, if someone would toss me some leftovers yeah. off the, the balcony at Garden Grill, I could probably live there. <laughs> there you go. I, I mean, I'd be, I'd be dumping in the water, but. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> well, it, it, it's hydroponics. <laughs> As yeah. it goes on downstream, I'm hey. just, I'm feeding the tilapia. The tilapia okay. feed the plants. Yeah, so the there plants feed me. And there you go. I so eat my own shit. Circle yep. of life. And it okay. All right. Um. Yeah, I. The the thing that I don't like about the living with the land overlay is that it doesn't make a difference during the day. <laughs> like you no. literally have to go look at it at night. Because otherwise, it's not going to matter. Well, maybe that's why I didn't see any lights, because I went during the day. Oh, so, yeah. So, during the evening, like, when the sun goes down, it's actually really awesome. But I don't want a ride that I have to rely on when there's no sun. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't make any kind of sense in the middle of the day. And, and so in the middle of the day, it's just the regular ride. You know, in hindsight, I should have realized that I'm in a biodome. And maybe I shouldn't have been expecting a spectacle of lights at 2.30 in the afternoon on a Wednesday. You mean Disney doesn't control the sun? But... In the bubble, they do. I could have. Yeah. I mean, I maybe I was expecting props. Fucking Gip Garland, you know, throw some of that tensely shit on one of them banana trees. Right. But you know what? That works in Jungle Cruise, and it's outside. Yeah, you got fucking alligators in this yeah. one. Put a Santa hat on them, like on the Jungle Cruise. But I, that's, well, and that's why it works on the Jungle Cruise, or the Jingle Cruise, because there's no lights. Like, it's not, it's not dependent upon lights. It's dependent upon the interaction with you and your skipper and some of the costume props, whatever you want to call them, that they put mm. in the ride as you're going through. There's it's more opportunity not... for it because of the costumes and the props. And But listen, this Liverwood Land is full of plants. I mean, you could put lights on all the plants. Correct. You could. And it wouldn't affect them at all. I'm not a biologist, but I don't think it would affect them at all. No, I don't think it would either. So, really, people that are working at Living With Land, stop being fucking lazy, okay? Put lights on all that shit. They're like, yeah, we're scientists, uh, not yeah, like, yeah, decoratists. We're off, stop so. researching <laughs> aphids and their effects on the plants and ladybugs and put some lights on these plants. Fucking yeah. Yeah, hang some icicle lights or something, man. Jesus. Stick a solar light on an aphid and let it fly around. <laughs> That's not going to work. I'm. I think it could. Does, I mean, I would have been have fine technology? with some with some window clings <laughs> on their <laughs> on, <laughs> no on their workspaces behind the door. You no, know? I want them all. Oh, the dome. Yeah, even on the dome. Can we get some spray snow? <laughs> I want window yeah, spray clings snow. and spray yeah. snow everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> especially on the plexiglass that is between the rows right now. Can we put spray? Spray yeah. snow and yeah, window clings on that. Block that and have somebody come in and just do like window paintings, like they did, like they used to do, and they sometimes still do. You know, oh, that's a gingerbread <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, Disney, right. you're, you're you're killing me. So, last one, Tim, you have three points. Mikey, you have four points. So Ooh. you have the chance to tie right now. Is there a tiebreaker if we tie? Uh no. <laughs> just think of one quick. We just we just call a tie. Come on, you can wing it. You can figure one out. We I could, well, actually, we I do. Here. I do have one that I crossed out that we we wouldn't. I didn't think we'd have time to do. So we're moving on to New Year's Eve now. Party night of the year. So where are you going to spend New Year's Eve? Are you going to spend it in <laughs> Magic Kingdom, or are you going to spend it in Epcot? Oh, so we're getting rid of an entire gate. Oh, yeah. No fifth well, gate. We're just going to tear what, one down. Yep. What is each one offering me? Uh, so the only thing that I... The only thing that I know of, because that's not... Actually, I didn't even really think to even look that up, but I do know that Epcot has 
certain like parties in Future World. Like I know that there's the silent dance party in Future World where you headphones. Have a, yeah, you have like a red side and a blue side, but they're all like everybody is mixed together. But the headphones that you get, if it's blue headphones, you get this set of music. If it's red he- headphones, you get that set of music. But everybody is in the same. Everybody's dancing together. Um, they obviously won't be doing that this year. And then there's also a dance party, like a DJ set in China. I think it's China. Um, in their maybe no, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's China. Um, in their like open area rotunda spot in the in the very front of the pavilion, um, past. The pit. Their arches, yeah. So, like, where the acrobats usually perform, right off to the side. That's China, right? That's not yep. Japan. Okay. Oh, so, like, Jesus. right where the acrobats. Well, I don't remember. Um, so, I those are the two like special, if you want to call them special, like special events that you can do um, in Epcot. I'm sure. I'm sure there are other things that you can also do um, in Magic Kingdom. You have the Tomorrowland stage that I know that they have. Um, dance parties at and then the main stage at the castle which I know that they have a DJ at during certain times and then there's also there's also a DJ in Frontierland above Country Bears Jamboree um, that I know has like set up there and played there for people to participate in like line dances and shit like that um, other than those like dance parties I don't know of anything specific that each park does for that actual holiday other than the fireworks that they show at midnight. And each park, both Epcot and Magic Kingdom do, and I've never spent New Year's Eve in any park at all. Same. Because I don't know that I would be able to handle that crowd. I would never take the kids. Ever. No, it's definitely not a crowd Um, for kids. That would definitely be just an adult thing. That would definitely be an adult trip. I would try it once. um, But then probably never again, depending on how it went. Um, Well, it's like going to Times Square. You do it once, and then never again. would never even consider that. That No, we gotta do it at least once. Fucking You gotta do it at least once. I I wouldn't be able to. I've done it um, a few times. You gotta do it. But it's different. Like, imagine me. I mean, like, m- me and my five foot nothing. Not even. Like, I I would be so claustrophobic standing that close to people yeah, for that long. True. For that many hours. Like, there'd be no way. Um, But I think that maybe I could do one of the parks. De- depending on how bad the crowd was. Yes, Tim. Nope. Um, go pick me last. I let Mikey pick his, and I'll I'll have an, oh. addend- have an addendum to my choice. Okay. All right. So, Mikey, what would you do? Would you do New Year's Eve at Magic Kingdom, or would you do it at Epcot? You know, it. Uh, <clears throat> the thing is, whichever one I pick, the other entire park goes away. So here, right. here's the conundrum. We're, we're a, a podcast that likes to drink, and there's currently no drinking in Magic Kingdom, but Magic Kingdom is basically oh, fuck, the entire of face of Disney World. Right. That's the castle. But Epcot has the the festivals and the shows, and and it has all that technology stuff that, I mean, obviously it doesn't have Living with the Land anymore because we got rid of it. Um <laughs> <laughs> but it's got rat tat so uh, yeah, I just not, yeah. allegedly <laughs> allegedly <not> sure. <laughs> yeah <laughs> they finished painting the sign this week you see oh it? well thank god they need to open that fucking shit soon <laughs> so yeah they stress test it before maria gets there yeah um so i've got to save magic kingdom okay i'm not a big crowd well i mean then why do you go to disney world I'm not a big crowd guy uh, the rave thing doesn't do anything for me. The dance party in the pit doesn't do anything for me in China. Um, I I just I, I 
I, I would rather keep Magic Kingdom. And e even if their uh, party would be a little more, um, you know, white dry. collar. <laughs> it dry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you could bring your Miami Mafia tea in. Oh, you yeah, could, absolutely. You could do that. Or your Bay Lake. You bring your Bay Lake in. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, I will abscond a bocatum, I believe. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm going with the Magic Kingdom to, to go party at, uh, because, you know, projections on the castle. And, and, True. and fireworks. They don't know what's going to happen in Epcot. True. So dare. All right, Tim, give us some addendums. So here's my addendum. I'm going to greet Mikey and pick Magic Kingdom. How... Ever. Because we're bougie. <laughs> oh, we're... God. He's not going to be on property. No, no I'm going to be on property. He's oh, not going to be, gonna on be in the park. <laughs> not going to be in the park. Well, that's what I meant. And I'm not going to be Brand dry. one. Nope. I'm going to be watching from Bay Lake Tower, top of the world. <laughs> that is not the question. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I made an addendum. That's, that's how he do Magic Kingdoms, though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, you're both wrong. No, I don't. Totally no, magic no. Tim, Tim's not wrong. Matter of fact, I'm Listen, giving I've Tim... seen the fireworks. We've seen the fireworks for New Year's Eve from Magic Kingdom, and they're so much better than the shit that goes on in Epcot. You know what impressed me for New what? Year's Eve in Epcot? If they if they dropped the Epcot, Epcot ball, ball. <laughs> <laughs> that would impress me. And that's, that's what I would think you do is make it leak, You get Tim. there and you're like, why yeah. the fuck is space, yeah. Spaceship Earth? Just put some Tiffany crystals on Spaceship Earth there. and drop that motherfucker 10 feet. <laughs> get... 10 feet? No, Just you're going to need much more than 10 feet. That wouldn't be very spectacular. 10 no, feet with something's wouldn't. 200 feet like, tall, oh, you, you wouldn't notice it. it. <laughs> no. Got a whole crew underneath it trying to make sure it lands back on the pylon so they can wrench it down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what the Geminers are doing. <laughs> They've got their wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, I, no. Has they ever walked kingdom? by and thrown something away in one of their trash cans? Oh, as long as it's not talking. <laughs> I you're almost okay. want to try it. <laughs> oh. They're food Those boy. poor guys. They're furloughed right now, okay? Oh, no, they're not. I guess they're still working. Anyway. Well, and so, just like that, the kiss of death. Thank yeah, you, Maria. Probably you are not. We'll probably see it tomorrow, which will be. When you get back, you can tell us about it. <laughs> that, so we'll, we'll put future Mikey in at this point, and he'll let you know if, it, if the Jaminers are still working. Um, no, we're no, we're not doing New Year's Eve at the at Magic Kingdom. We're no, we're going to Epcot. Why? Come on, no, guys. Why? why? Because. Free roaming booze. Okay. Why are you getting rid of Magic Kingdom? I'm not getting rid of Magic Kingdom. You I'm, are. I'm uh, picking at the hot you know, rules. You're getting, rules. Because I think Magic when, you, when you started this, you said, now don't just pick the one you want to keep. Pick the one, or, or you're picking away. which I one goes not, away. I'm it's, not it's, picking Magic Kingdom because I want to get, I'm not picking Epcot because I want to get rid of Magic Kingdom. Now she's changing the I'm rules, Mike. I'm picking Epcot changing because the that's where I want to spend now, the year. She says, I'm not picking so Epcot because default, I want to get rid of Magic Kingdom. I'm picking Epcot because I want to get drunk. Yeah, exactly. Thank well, you. Well, Magic Kingdom. My you have to do it on your own. You could. You do it on your own. That's, you are accurate. You could. However, I could be much more open about it in Epcot. As someone who has had a cast member hold their Bay Lake drink, which is rum and duck pepper, it doesn't get more open than that. <laughs> I mean, come on. I don't know. That's my, that's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. That started it all in Florida. You just erased it with, with one, with with one swoop Eve of party. your pen. Yeah, I, th right. I, I, think, I think you're wrong, actually, on this I, one. I think she's I wrong too. I think that I can't be wrong because I made this shit up. Oh, I think, I think I, we win, Mikey. Yeah. I think we win. Yeah. No, Tim. Nope. I like your answer so much. I'm giving you one of my points, and I think we tied. 
Well, we um, both picked we both picked that answer, so you're still a point ahead of me. No, I'm giving you one of mine. I'm giving you so that, that one. That means that he's I'm a point you ahead of you then, because you went to top of the world, which was good thinking. So as far as I'm concerned, that was good thinking. We that, was, that was a good addendum. See, I you, told you. You you use that noggin of yours sometimes. It's better than your addendum. Well, it was a deletum. <laughs> but here herein is the rub, since I don't own any points at Bailey. I have to find a friend that has points that could do a reservation that week and mooch. <laughs> so are they? Is that their? Their stipulation right now, you have to be yeah any time Fourth of July, New Year's, it, yeah you have oh, to own any holiday you have to own there yeah you have to oh, own there to be able to go up the top of the world. Interesting, I didn't realize that that was it the difference on a holiday. Super crowded. So, do we know anybody that? I mean, I know that we do know people that own there. Yes, we do know mm-hmm. people that own. So, several many. Mm-hmm. So hopefully. Um, one of them, if not all, make <laughs> reservations. <laughs> they like tower. Maybe, maybe and, you can uh, just sit down there in front of the elevator, in front of that poor cast member that has to watch <laughs> and has to like, turn people sheeter? away. Are you a sheeter? Just, I need a sheeter. Sheeters just, assemble. Sheeters assemble. <laughs> just sit down there, like, well, I'm not bougie. I'm more like oogie bougie. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to sit, oogie bougie. Up, sit down there and be like, do you know who I am? You clearly don't. You clearly They're don't. like, no, who are you? I'm no one. <laughs> but I'm the I host maybe it of would help a me. Disney pod. I'm the newest host of a Disney pod. I've been there like two months. I am like a fucking months. delicate flower, and I am a podcaster, sir. Let me up there. Well, I Disney am the entertainment. should be shut down. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh... It's you. Yeah, we're not letting you anywhere near. <laughs> we actually, we need you to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Security. Security. You need to sign this paper saying you won't come back. Oh, God, that would be such a sad day. <laughs> it would. <laughs> I don't know just, what I would do with my. He just tases you right there on the tile. You drop sign this. this yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> What have I done wrong? <laughs> My life is over. <laughs> I shouldn't have picked that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I even going up here? There's no park to walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fraud. <laughs> so that's it. That's the game. There you go. <laughs> so what's the tally? It's, uh, so, well, technically... Uh, Tim, you had three that I agreed with you. Mikey had four, and um, I somehow only had six, but we had seven questions, so I, I must have lost a point somewhere for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think what? I missed it. <laughs> so technically, Mikey wins out of the two of you. <laughs> I agreed with Mikey more. I don't know how you lost a point on your own. I, I I'm not going to say what I really feel. <laughs> All right, Mikey, take us out. Well, where are we going? I don't know. Well, ending. The ending. Outro. Happy endings. All right, then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, they normally laugh whenever I do that because I just puddle up my own navel. Maria, this was always. <laughs> a f- <laughs> always fun to win. I don't know how you lost Wait, point. Did you win? Did you win last time too? I did, I think. Yeah. I don't I'm remember. A bias. Pretty it's sure I did then. because because Adam got very disagreeable on a lot of stuff that that he and I were like like we were like yeah. agreeing and then we were opposites and it was just me and Maria, me and Maria, me and Maria, me and Maria. <laughs> That's true. Because uh, you learn how to read her tales pretty quick, and regardless of what you really feel like, sometimes you just want to win. <laughs> and boys and girls, that's life. It's life. Nobody cares what you think. They just care what you can do. You're not wrong. But this was a good, this was a good, uh, 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 always fun, because it's good when we just get a chance to just uh, chat instead of having to, you know, dig too deep in 
who designed what and painted this and why don't the pirates have cocks? So Maria, thank you very much. Uh, for, just <laughs> for that, you get to go last and close the remarks. So, Tim? Okay. Uh, you got closers on this? Up, up. I do, and, and I'm just going to double back on the raw, and every year I watch Adam get so <laughs> worked up over quoting the raw. Speaking of fires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and every year it's a dumpster fire, but this year, I mean, normally it takes a couple days, well, the first year it took like a week to do all the dates. And there was and fewer the, dates. Fewer dates, yes. Mm-hmm. We have, we've we had to extend it, and now there's we actually, a couple of uh, dates are doubled up, and it was done in an hour and a half. And that is on you guys, that is on the Three Sheets Nation, that you guys are just totally into the holidays. I'm not a holiday person, but it just it amazes me to see the generosity and the, I don't know, what is it, the family that you guys have made for yourselves through this. And it just, it warms my little black heart. So, <laughs> keep it going. When Brian Adams, when he sent me the care package a couple weeks ago, uh, he put a note in there. And I'm it was, it was, it was the scatterbrain scribblings of, of a drunk and, and i appreciate that um no there was it was very heartfelt that, that, that I'm, I'm totally joking about that but at the end of it he finished it with something that i thought you know what i can get behind that it just said ohana or nothing i was like i can i can i can do that i can do that so that yeah what you're saying tim makes me think of that when he just says ohana or nothing and that's yeah. that's that's what we are that's, that's what the raw is about. And yep. um, to piggy piggyback off of Tim, piggyback and off of me, which I'm pretty <laughs> sure is illegal in 37 states. Doubly illegal in Utah. 45? Probably 45. Yeah. Yeah. Just the coastal states, except for California. Nothing's legal in California anymore, um, especially theme parks. So, um... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh man! So uh, we got him. With <laughs> did you say smoke him if you got him? Yes, the state was on fire. You fucker! Um... <laughs> <laughs> with with regards to the raw, if you're new to the group and new to the podcast, and you're like, "Hey, how do I get in on this?" Well, you you kind of you kind of don't because we did have a cutoff on it this year as part of the rules. So yes, um, there was a a date you had to be admitted into the group and and, and like a, a minimal requirements as far as commenting and stuff to, to be an active member to, to be someone who can receive a gift on the raw because every year we end up with uh, you know people who literally join that day and then comment on the raw within 10 minutes to get something for for nothing and that's not what it's about it's about ohana not um free shit so maria it's not your turn. It's mine. Okay. Thanks for listening, <laughs> folks. Maria, what do you got? You, uh, so if if you're not part of the Facebook group, then... We, we don't have any more room. What are you doing? We don't have any more room because I think we admitted every single other person in the God-given free earth that has Facebook in their country because we know that, you know, some countries just don't allow it. Anyway, so... Um, we entered, we admitted so many fucking people this past week. I literally, I was writing down names and I, I filled an entire one page and had to switch over to the back of the fucking page because y- you people are, are ridiculous. Um, so 139 in the last month. Is that, is that really what it's yeah. been? 139 I, in the last I month. I admitted 73. Yes. Probably more than that. The, I counted well, them. In that last post. but In that, in that, in my big post, I think I had like I admitted, 35 on mine. Mine was, yeah. my, my post was themed after the Haunted Mansion. What about yours, Maria? Haunted Mansion? The Haunted Mansion. How about that shit? Mine referenced the 999 Happy Haunts. How about yours, Maria? Then 99 Happy Haunts. No, you only did 99. Did I? Oh, did I fuck it up? Mm. You fucked it up. Did you just copy and paste? or? No, I didn't see yours. (laughs) She she read totally off your paper. Did I? I didn't see it. Yep, sorry. (laughs) 
caffeine is the greatest form of flattery? Yeah, that's not how that goes. No. <laughs> Fuck. Well, to be fair, when you when you admit that many people, where's the one thing you automatically go to? Right, of course. Yeah, duh. I'm not sorry. Fuck you, Mikey. <laughs> I'm going to start tagging you in every post I do to welcome people. Just to make Thank sure you. you don't fuck it up when you do it. Okay. Please do. And then everybody's like, oh, Maria's so girl. funny. Teach the new girl. <laughs> and you're like, um, I'm the one who wrote the post. Yeah, but Maria's part of it, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you love me. You know you do. It begins with an L, that's for sure. It's got one syllable. What else you got for me? Is that all great? Um, no, I'm. I'm. I'll be damned. I'm probably. The, hopefully, by the time this drops, I'll have some information about our ornament exchange for this year because I am planning on spearheading that. Hopefully, probably, maybe. Um, so that'll be posted somewhere on the page. I'd like to get names out to people the week of Thanksgiving, um, mostly because that's when I have off school and I have some time to sit down and like really make sure that I have everybody's address to send. And, um, Wouldn't it be so great if you, if you could be... buy Christmas ornaments when you're in Disney World in November? Exactly. So mm-hmm. if you Before know that you want to be like part of the... the yeah. So if you know that you want to be part of the ornament exchange, look for that on the page. Um, it might be out by the time this episode drops. It might not. It just, you know, it just depends on, on when I get around to it. No, it depends um, on when I get around to it. Well, <laughs> Come on. No, that's cute. You're, you're being well, polite. It's Don't. not like you're not busy, Mikey. <laughs> like, you're not just sitting around the house twiddling your thumbs. So. Yeah. Oh, it's it's stuck up my ass, apparently. Yeah, well, that's. He's, he's twiddling something else. You're done. You're, you're, you're busy. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm bush piloting. Yeah. Okay. Which is not in the new window. Okay. Um, so I'll have information out about that. Other than that, just continue to be nice to each other. Be good to excellent. each other. Be excellent. Be, be excellent. Be excellent, yeah. In the grand word, Rufus. Nothing, Maria? Who's Rufus? Really? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Really? Uh, I don't think I've ever actually seen it. <gasps> there was a re- ever a reason to fire her, it's this one. That's it. <laughs> that Literally, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's how yeah, I get fired. Know, if, if we were live, this is when I would kick her from the call. <laughs> like immediately. <laughs> and the look on everybody's faces, watch this, would be like... Oh, shit. And they wouldn't even know. They wouldn't even have to ask who did it because they know that I do it. All right, then. Well, everyone, thank you for listening with us tonight. And as we end the show, we're going to say, like we always do, because this is awkward. I don't remember how to transition into this. Were you quivering with anticipation, Maria? No. She doesn't know. She's never seen the movie. Okay, (laughs) then. Well, this is not goodbye. It's see you real soon. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you!